All right, I've got something really special for you today. So this home is a full remodel. It was built in 1931, has loads of character. So this whole section was added on. They added the porta cochere room over the garage, and then there's a detached garage in the back. So cool. It's, I'm sorry, that's not, it's a, it's a, there's a breezeway there, and then there's a detached. So the, the porta cochere finish room. Really cool, stay tuned for all of that. We are in Tulsa today, so if you're not familiar, it's kind of the Midtown area, you're close to Brookside, Cherry Street. Um, so loads of shopping and nightlife. It is a prime spot. Um, there's a house across the street, it's getting remodeled as well. But loads of character, really pretty neighborhood. So let's head on in and check it out. So it is 3,107 square feet. And the price at the time of this video, I believe is $1.2 million. So let's head on in here. I do love the walkway all throughout the garden area. Love it. So right inside here, you have a split plan with kitchen and the dining area. And then over here is your living. And then we'll head over into the primary, which is back there. Love the staircase. Got that nice grand look with the ship lap, which really matches the area. You have granite counters with the undermounted sink, and you have this gorgeous gas range with that backsplash. Loads of cabinet space, the shaker style. I like the glass insets as well, and then that black hardware is really cool. And there's your dining area, and we'll head over this way to the mud room. So this is a, another access to the back, kind of just a side entry here. I do love that they left the brick for that pop of the historical part of this home, keeping the character. And then over here, we'll check out that primary bedroom. Love this fireplace, lots of natural light with all these windows. And I like that kind of off white bluish gray color I think it really works nice built-ins here moving this way there's that primary and right here is your hall bath absolutely gorgeous love those hexagonal tiles and then here is that utility room same granite that's in the kitchen absolutely gorgeous moving this way here is the primary look at this. Imagine waking up in here. Every day, these floor to ceiling windows, absolutely stunning. I love the addition with the uh, decorative finish on there, really makes it look cool. Love the beams as well. And just wait until you see this bathroom. Oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. I love the marble hexagon tiles with that kind of rose gold uh, hardware on the cabinets there. And you of course have the dual vanities and then a massive shower, good sized tub. I like the frosted glass to add in that natural light, fully tiled all the way to the ceiling there. Gorgeous. Here is your toilet area and then a massive closet. You've got shelving on both sides, of course, a get ready mirror is what I'm gonna call that. <laughs> and then more shelving over here and then your attic access as well. So let's head on back through and we'll check out the upstairs. Okay, upstairs we go. Again, there's that ship lap, which is pretty cool. I like the shelf here as well. So you can have some decorative things if you want to showcase them. Upstairs we have a full bath right here, similar in style to the rest of the house. Really cool tiles. Let me know what you guys think about those in the comments. Love the addition of the shelf in the shower here. Gorgeous, no complaints. Moving this way, this is kind of your game room. Could be a second living room. And then over here is a bedroom. Really nice size closet. Even has a window in the closet, so even more natural light. Love that. Moving through the game room, 
There's another bedroom over here. Huge, huge size. Could easily be a second master or primary bedroom if you need it to be. It has a massive closet as well. And looks out to the gorgeous backyard. This tree, it was, let's see, I don't want to know how old it is. It's, it was 1907, that's how old it is. <laughs> Someone do the math for me. But absolutely amazing, it has a little placard on it. I'll show you that in a second. But, Moving back through to the other side, before we get there though, if you're new here, my name is Ryan Henze. I run the Top Hat Connections real estate team with Keller Williams, serving of course Tulsa and the surrounding areas. So if you're thinking of making a move to the Tulsa area or any of our amazing suburbs, I would love to help you make that smooth transition. Without further ado though, let's jump back into the rest of the tour. But if you like this home tour, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. All right, so moving this way, you have another bedroom and a full bath right here. So this could be um, another separate suite if you wanted. You have the two, two vanities over here. So easily could use this room as a second primary bedroom as well. Love all the windows, lots of natural light. And then this, I believe, is a, the closet for this room. So. You've got hanging right here, more hanging, the shelving, and then you also have additional shelving up top. So let's head back downstairs and we'll check out the backyard. So before we head out the back right here, this home actually still has a basement, which isn't super common in Tulsa, obviously. It's just not really a thing in the South. However, this home's got one and they kept it intact, which I think is really cool. So they added some cabinetry down here. You do could uh, could do um, you know workspace whatever. Here's some more storage area. So loads of space in this house. If you wanted to finish this out, of course you could. Um, for the right price, the builder may even be open to it. It's Riverbend Estate Homes. I think they did a fabulous job. Let me know in the comments. Um, would you live here? <laughs> but without further ado, without further ado, though, we still need to go check out the backyard. So let's head over there. All right, and here we are. You have a nice little, uh, I could put like a fountain there if you wanted. It's probably what I would do. Loads of entertaining space, huge yard. It is, um, I don't know the exact acreage, but it's 16,712 square feet. Um, is the lot size, which that's going to be roughly like a point, point three zero acres, I would say, because there's four, 45,320 or something like that <laughs> in an acre square footage. So not quite an acre, but still a very massive, massive lot. Look, there's a bunny. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, he moved. I'm not crazy. I saw him. He's there somewhere. <laughs> Love the little patio, or not patio, uh, bench out here with that gorgeous blooming, is it a crepe myrtle, perhaps? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge agricultural person as far as plant names. I just think they look pretty. So great, great uh, use of space here. That's the primary bedroom that we saw on the first floor. And then all of these mature trees, super serene. Here is that detached garage over here. We'll check that out. Love these sconces as well. These are the same ones that are on the front of the house. Really nice. So two car garage. And then you do have some patio space over here for like your trash cans or whatever. And there's that breezeway from the other side. And lastly, here is this historical tree, Oklahoma Centennial 1907 Hackberry tree. Totally cool. I mean, it's massive, older than the home because the home was built in 1931. So I think that's pretty sweet. 
Let me know what you guys think of this home. The feedback is always helpful to the builder to know what people like, what people don't like. And like I said before, if you are interested in making a move to Tulsa, Oklahoma, or any of the surrounding communities, I would love to help you make that smooth transition. Again, this area of Tulsa has all kinds of shopping. There is, um, you know, movie theaters, nightlife, bars, uh, live music. You're close to the Guthrie Green, the Gathering Place, which is a 400 and some million dollar free park to the community. So it's pretty great spot. But again, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.